Hi, my name is Samanda. Uh, I'm Tamara, but you can call me Tammy. My name is Beth Sabet, but you can call me Beth. You can call me Sam. <laughs> We're students of computer engineering at Costa Rican Technological Institute. So, wait. We're also members of the experimental laboratory of the same university for more than a year and a half, and we are active members of Video Chicas. So today we are going to talk about the streets of women. So let's start. Okay, so let's start off by clearing out what Geo Chicas actually is. Geo Chicas is a community of women mappers in OpenStreetMap. Uh, we seek to close the gender gap in the mapping community. Uh, the organization was founded in the year 2016 in the State of the Map Latin America Conference. It was in Brazil. And to that conference, a total of 125 people attended, out of which only 32 were women. So at that point in time, this. These three lovely women, Celine, Celine, and Miriam, became the co founders of GeoChicas. But what's the point of GeoChicas? First and foremost, GeoChicas wishes to empower women and make women feel safe in the, in the mapping community and empowered to participate in more mapping projects and tech related activities. The tech-related activities is very special for us three because since we are computer engineering students, we really wish to have more women involved in our field. Also, last but definitely not least, GeoChicas is a safe space for women in the mapping community. For women to feel safe about talking about like female representation, female-related like, issues, and all that stuff. Well, uh, we started with 15 GeoChicas uh, in 2016, and now we are more than 200, and we are all across uh, America, Africa, and Europe. Yeah, uh, We recently opened a Telegram group for all the female community or whoever identifies as female, and, and okay. it's in English. Yeah, before we only had a Telegram for a Spanish speaker, but now we open one for everyone who speaks English and identifies as a woman. So before we begin into everything that we're going to talk about, we wanted to show you a little video we made beforehand to kind of show you how directions are handled differently in different cultures. In our country, directions are a little messy. They can get a little complicated to understand because people don't actually like talk on numbers or anything like that. They just like give reference points. And to a foreigner, that can be hard to understand. ¿Cómo se llega a Plaza Real? Tiene que salir por la calle principal, la que va para la Juela Centro, y, y se mete por los adobes, por la calle del bulevar ahí de los adobes, y ahí sigue, pasa por la Independencia, pasa por la pulpería del Guinero, y sigue caminando hasta que se acabe esa calle. ¿Cómo se llega al Palacio de los Deportes desde las Cajas del Pueblo? Tiene que, eh, bueno, cuando se baja el tren, tiene que caminar hacia la esquina oeste. Eh, cuando llega a esa esquina, dobla a la derecha, sube hacia el norte, son eh, cinco cuadras, eh, hasta llegar al parque, a la esquina del test. Ahí dobla a la izquierda y baja, esas son como seis cuadras eh, en dirección oeste y llega eh, directamente a la esquina del palacio. ¿Cuál es la dirección de su casa? La dirección de mi casa es 50 metros este de la iglesia de San Rafael de Tres Ríos. Casa de dos plantas, color amarilla. ¿Cómo se llega de la iglesia de la Agonía a el Citimón? Ok, se para enfrente de la iglesia, cruza la calle, camina como 800 metros hasta el parque central y de ahí sigue bajando como un kilómetro hasta el que hay un supermercado, luego cruza y sigue directo y ya llego. So, uh, as you can see, we talk uh, directions in mostly reference points. So that's like a very different cultural thing. 
So do you know that there are more than 5 millions of collaborators in OpenStreetMap and just 3% are women and the other 97% are men? So we only see a half of a reality. Uh, maps have been a tool of conquest and since colonization they have been at hands of men. So what happened with the other half? It's not a secret that women use public transportation more than men. That's because in the past, while women stayed at home taking care of the children, men went out to work, and in that time there was uh, only one car per family, and the one who used it was the men. So what about that inclusion filter that only see the needs of a few? Another interesting example is the number of map brothels compared to child care centers. The difference is overwhelming. So let's take a look at the numbers of today. Uh, taking into account the amount of people giving talks today, there's a total of 40 people, out of which 13 people are women and 27 are men. So, the streets of women. The project ar arise around International Women's Day in 2018. It is intended to make survey information about avenues, streets, and roads that are named after our women. Also, link it into a Wikipedia page to check is there a biography written about her. So, let's see the page. Ah, no, we have three objectives. Yeah, right. Expose the gender gap as a form of exclusion in social practices that are represented on mapping through history. The second is visualize the low participation of women in mapping, and the last is call attention to the shortage of women representation in Latin American cities. So this is the website. As you can see, we have yellow points that are the cities. In the left, you had the menu. We have countries like Argentina, Spain, Bolivia, Paraguay. So we have green lines and yellow lines. The green lines represent the streets with the name of a man. And you can see we have a lot of green lines. And the yellow one represents the streets with the name of a female. If you click on the yellow ones, you can see the link of Wikipedia. And well, this is Buenos Aires. It has the lower amount of streets with female name. And we had like, for example, uh, Havana that has the highest percentage, but it's only 37%. So it is so lower too. Uh, the project is in beta phase and the main developer is uh, Jesena. Okay, so the technologies used for this project uh, mainly is Node.js. The page is coded in Node.js. The scripts we use for generating the data is in Node.js. Uh, for the map, uh, the person, uh, the customization layer of the map, we use Mapbox. And we use uh, Wikidata for querying all the Wikipedia links we use on the streets of the women. <laughs> So why did we feel the need to include Costa Rica, our country, to this project? Well, Costa Rica, like all countries, has a vast variety of historical figures who have contributed to our culture and our history. We in Latin America have a custom of naming streets and places after those people. Costa Rica is definitely not above the issue of the lack of human representation that exists. And it's not because of a lack of women to choose from, but because of a lack of acknowledgement. Historically in our country, it has always been of more importance to represent a man's achievements rather than a woman's. Given the opportunity of naming a place or a street after a person of importance, the first option to pop up is almost always the male one. Even when we take into account the little amount of uh, women's names that appear on our map, it is clear to see that most of them are either Catholic saints, women Catholic saints, or biblical women. This is not a bad thing, because Catholicism is very important for all cultures, so it's okay to be represented. But it's 
it's, an, mm -hmm. it's an incredible how much more prioritized those names are over the names of actual Costa Rican women who have, have worked for our country and have contributed for our history. So why are there more representation and names of men than women? And why are the only representation that women get goes to biblical women or Catholic saints? Because there is no place in our, in our culture yet that honors and represents women for their achievements and their hard work. This is what we want to do with our country. We want to use this project to acknowledge that women don't get the representation they deserve and that Costa Rica has a lot of women to choose from. Uh, we are going to talk about the obstacles we found on the way of adding our country to this project. Uh, the first of all, uh, the first of the two obstacles, the main obstacles we found, uh, was the existence of the old name tag. Uh, we are really new in this open street map community, and we didn't know a lot of things of how the data is classified. Uh, uh, with the alt name tag, we found uh, when we were generating the data for the scripts uh, for the for the project, we found with a small amount of uh, streets named after women or male both. Uh, this was caused because in Costa Rica we have an inconsistency in the naming of the streets. We, as you see, saw on the video, uh, we use reference points and nobody really knows uh, what are the names of the streets. And we also don't use numbers. We don't use anything. We just go and walk around. Uh, so with this inconsistency, we had names. Uh, in the alt name tag, we had the name we need for the project. And in the name tag, we have the number or reference for the street. So when we generate the data, the script uh, just takes the name on the name tag, and the other is not considered. So what we did with this was uh, modify the script that generates the data. But we obtain we obtain the amount of uh, streets we want, but there was a problem. We cannot see the names on the map. And we talk uh, of this with the uh, Geo Chicas community, but it's going to be weird to have a map without the name on the map. There's the point to see the name of the streets. So we have a bigger challenge after this. So we need to make a massive change on the open street map uh, map. <laughs> So we made another, another script that my partner is going to talk about. Uh, after this, we have another problem. Uh, we cannot change the names of the streets like if we just want to change it. That flip, we, we have to swap the two names. Uh, first, we have to find a reliable source that can get us information of what is the actual names of the streets in Costa Rica. So we found the National Nomenclature Commission, uh, for short, CNN. Uh, with this commission, we spoke with Alfonso Lopez, who told us that the real name of the streets uh, were uh, the actual name, the long name, the person name or the thing name. Uh, after this, uh, with this information, was really helpful because we have to make the whole process of making a script and uh, make a wiki page explaining why we want to make changes and where. So this was really help, uh, helpful for justifying the changes. So there's a lot of things you have to take into account when you want to make changes in OpenStreetMap, especially if you want to make massive changes, such as the ones we were dealing with, because we wanted to change the entire map of Costa Rica. Our problem was that the Costa Rica map was showing numbers and it was actually like the formal name, it was the person's name. So we, first of all, we contacted with our local municipalities. We went around asking like people who were in power to tell us like this is the correct way of mapping in Costa Rica. Uh, that is where we got the information from the CNN that we were actually going to do a good thing because uh, streets in Costa Rica weren't being properly mapped in OpenStreetMap. 
So when we got, got that information, we started making a wiki page in the OpenStreetMap wiki. Uh, we made a, the wiki page talking about the Costa Rican guidelines and how and what, what we wanted to change. So we got a lot of comments, uh, feedback in that wiki, and we got a lot of emails from people from the community. Everybody wanted to help and get an idea of how we wanted to make this change. After uh, going back and forth with ideas and comments and emails with the community, we reached an agreement that what we were going to do was we were going to swap the name and old name tags because the old name tag was the one that had the person's name and the name tag was the one that had the number's name. So we reached that agreement and we started working on the code. We made uh, the code in Python and be when we were finished with the code before we run it, we made sure that everybody was still on the same page because uh, some time had passed from the agreement to the, the finishing of the code. Mm -hmm. So we sent out emails again, messages from the Telegram group uh, of the OpenStreetMap Costa Rican community. So we sent out emails telling them, hey, we're gonna make this change in a, a few hours. So uh, we want everybody to be on the same page and everybody to remember that this is going to happen so that this is gonna be no surprise to anyone. When you are going to make a massive change in OpenStreetMap, you have to take those formalities because everybody wants to be on the same page and not be entering the OpenStreetMap we, uh, website and be surprised. So that is uh, like the formalities that we took. So the process. Uh, initially, and to be honest, we had no idea what we were doing, really. Then we found a light, we used JOSM and a, a overpass query to download the data with uh, XML. Then we, in the, we made a script in Python. So the script, first we find the streets that have name and an old name tag. Then we filter the name tags that have uh, numbers like Calle 3 or that. And if the name match our criteria, we swap them. So then we upload the data. But when we are uploaded the data, we realized that we had to add a modified tag, an action modified tag, otherwise it wouldn't upload the changes. So this is the, yeah. this is the results. Initially, L name had Calle La Paz and name tag had Calle Cinco. So we swapped them and we add the action modified so we can upload the changes, and that's it. We didn't know the action modify tag. We had to add it manually. So when we were updating uh, the changes into <laughs> JOSM, there was any change, change because there was no action modify tag. So we struggled a lot with that, and we touch a lot of things in the code to see what it was, and it was the action modified that. We had to run again the script to yeah. and add the, yeah. the tag. So let's recap of, of the, pro, the whole process of making a, a massive change in JO and OpenStreetMap community. Uh, well, the first thing uh, was doing a wiki, explaining the changes. Um, before this is uh, finding reliable sources, of course. Uh, after we made the wiki page, uh, there is a time for the community to express what they think about the change, give ideas, uh, give, give feedback. After this stage, when everybody reaches an agreement, we, uh, we get an approval of the community and Chuck Norris, of course. Uh, after this, we start the coding process. We made it with Python because, well, I don't know if anyone programs here, but <laughs> Python is a really cool la language. Language, oh, sorry. <laughs> and yeah, who doesn't love Python? After this, we have the script done. Yeah. We make the changes, we run the script, make the changes, and get our .osm file and upload it to JOSM to be on the actual map. So here is uh, the page again, the website, but right now, well, we haven't talked about this yet, but we made another change before doing the whole massive change thing uh, of the map 
We actually added that uh, little menu on the left because be beforehand, before when we got into a project, it was just like a list of city, city names uh, in no particular order. So we added the country's name and we made it like really orderly. But that's not the most important thing. We added Costa Rica and you can actually see the names now. Um, you can see that there are a lot of green lines, and uh, this is still like in process. It, we already uploaded it to the like live website, but it's still in process because we had some bugs with the. Wow. We use a uh, B box to get the the data from OpenStreetMap, and the B box is a little big for our cities because our cities are tiny. So when we use BBOX, it takes more of the city than what the city actually is. So the, percentage, the percentages are a little funky. There, it says that it's 32% women, but it's actually not. It's way less. So we still need to work on, on clearing that up and um, making the cities look a little nicer because because of the BBOX is so big, it is, isn't actually showing what the city is like. So it's more than like just a city. You can go through the whole city like in five minutes. Yeah. And every, yeah. Almost every city is like that. There is a yeah. really small country, so every city is really small. So what comes next? Our initial objective is that our country manages the equal representation and that is what we are working on. We had to ha have a meeting with the National Institute of Women um, in order to show them the project and create an initiative for formal change. Yeah, the National Institute of Women actually has a gallery of women that have been, uh, like have made historical things for a country, such as like the first voter, the first women voter, and things like that. They are showcased in the National Institute of Women. A lot of people don't know that gallery even exists, and a lot of people can't even recognize a lot of the women that are in the gallery. So that's, that's sad, right? What we're gonna do, is, or what we're gonna do, is like maybe use this project to name unnamed streets after those women, because there are a lot of unnamed streets. Uh, we wanna name those streets after those women and uh, have a change in how our culture sees representation for women. And maybe have a lot of those women be more recognizable for most people. Yeah. Well, Thank nice. you very Thank much. You. Thank you. I think we have time for questions. If anybody has a question. Yeah. I have one question. And, and I don't know if this is possible, but do you see that if you plan to try to figure out if there's any correlation between the number of streets with the names of women and perhaps a, the position or the power of women in the society itself? Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, we've thought about that. Uh, the project is still like very like in beta stage. So we first need to like um, finish uh, uploading the everything and getting it out of the beta stage. But we do have in mind uh, getting more social t studies done by this project to maybe uh, investigate those kinds of things. Uh, yeah, also another really cool thing that we were uh, talking about with people of the community is that in a lot of places there are women who are not necessarily well known in other like places, but in that like in that city they're very well known. So what we're gonna do is maybe name streets after those women who are very well known in that city, you know. So yeah, that's basically uh, what we're gonna do. We wanna use it for rep representation and for investigation too. Another, uh, excuse me. Another thing we didn't mention is that everyone can help to generate uh, CDs uh, yeah. for the project. Uh, Geo Chicas had, has a GitHub with all the specifications you need for running the script and generates the data for any city you want. United States doesn't have any city, so if anyone want to generate the data, it will be mm -hmm. really cool. The process is really not that difficult. Um, if you know your way around maybe 
Ubuntu or terminals, it's, it's, very, it's very simple. And in, in the GitHub, in the GeoChicas GitHub, there is like a step-by-step -step guide, and it's also translated to English. The Telegram channel is a safe space for women and people that are not binary, mm -hmm. sexual. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah. actually uh, we're thinking music. about uh, about uh, parks mm -hmm. and maybe schools because uh, naming of the schools is really big in Costa Rica. I don't know if it's here, but naming of schools is really big. And uh, we are planning to expand it more. I know the name of the project is Streets of Women, but we're planning to expand it to you know, parks and schools and all that because all of that is important too. All of that is representation too on the map. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, are all the women that are in the, uh, what was it, the, the mall, the mall you were talking about, uh -huh. are they all on uh, Wikimedia or whatever you're using? Yeah, no. Uh, a lot of them are, but a lot of them aren't. And this is also something that we want to uh, change okay. using this project. We, um, on our university, on the laboratory we work on, we do a lot of work on Wikipedia. So we are actually doing um, like tutorials on how to do um, Wikipedia pages. So we wanna get people to know how to do them. We wanna go to like the communities and uh, show people how to do Wikipedia pages so that they can make a Wikipedia page for the important women in that uh, community. So that everybody can be represented. And once those names are on the map, they can also have a Wikipedia page. Any other questions? Yeah. All right. Thank you Thank very you. much.